Hi, everybody, and thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We're starting things out in the field this week up here at Owen Station near Greenwood, Delaware, where we're shooting a few sporting clays to benefit the Sportsman Against Hunger. Yeah, great event here, great facility, beautiful weather. You know what, Willie, too, it just so happens on the day that we're uh, filming here, there's a big NASCAR race going up at the Monster Mile, not too far away from here in Dover. And they always say, boy, that concrete track will eat up a driver if they're not prepared. Well, as uh, me and Willie and our friend Chopper Chuck are finding out, uh, if you don't come prepared, the clay, clay pigeons, <laughs> will eat a shooter up. The venue, Owen Station near Greenwood, Delaware. The event, a charity sporting clays shoot to benefit two causes. Awareness for the Delaware chapter of the Quality Deer Management Association and to raise funds for Sportsmen Against Hunger. Most people don't know, but from week to week, the fellows and I live pretty separate lives. I'm busy flying Chopper 16 most days, while Mike and our producer, Chopper Chuck, I'm taking one for the team here, film a lot of adventures from ground level. So it was good to spend an afternoon together all in one place. But that didn't mean it was gonna be pretty. I didn't have a cup of coffee this morning, Mike. No, we like to have some fun. As you may have seen in our past episodes, we've followed some of the area's best sporting clay shooters on this same course. And from the moment that clay bird launches, it's in store for a beating by BBs. While Willie and I are lifelong hunters, neither of us have ever competed in sporting clays before. I don't know what to say. <laughs> And Chuck, who doesn't have much firearms experience at all, well, he'll be shooting for some beginner's luck, which isn't always a bad thing. Today's course is made up of eight stations. For most, we'll be shooting six clay birds apiece. The final station will feature eight birds for a total of 50 shots, or a possible 50 total points. Moments of glory surrounded by reality. You have to bask in the moments of glory, and then you make excuses about the mistakes. <laughs> what do they say? XOXOXO hugs and kisses. Yeah, hugs and kisses. I got more uh, hugs today than kisses. Oh. <laughs> now, while I wouldn't consider our opening efforts bad, bad would be not trying at all. But while we come to terms with our humbling scorecard so far, hey, they said it's not around, Willie. we might as well take a few seconds to talk about why we're really here. Well, we're taking a little bit of a break now from the course to talk to our friend Chip West, president of the Delaware State Chapter of Quality Deer Management. Chip, how are you? Fine. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Thanks for having us out here. Well, it's a great time of year as we turn summer into the fall season and boy, people are getting out there doing some archery hunting across Delaware and Maryland and you know rolling into some of the other deer seasons. Tell us about Quality Deer Management. Quality Deer Management, the Quality Deer Management Association is a nonprofit conservation organization. In short, our basic mission is to educate hunters on, on the benefits and, and society on the benefits of a balanced deer herd. So how can anybody else who's watching Outdoors Del Marva this week learn more, get involved? Um, it's real simple. You can go to DelawareQDMA.org. Easy enough. Yeah, all one word. Yes, all right, right, Chip West, president of the Delaware State. Thank you for coming. Thank Appreciate you. it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's head back out and see how we're shooting. Midway through the course, I'm out to an early lead while Chuck is also starting to find his groove and seems to be a natural with my old reliable pump gun. Mike is shooting a semi-automatic you may remember gave him a little trouble while goose hunting last year. But with a season under his belt, this 12 gauge is starting to break in nicely. And Mike is shooting just under 50-50 so far. And while we're hoping for some better statistics on the course as this day goes on, there are some very real life statistics that a charity event like this aims to improve. I'm here with Bill Walter, the owner of Owen Station. Hi, Bill. How are you, sir? Can you tell Good us a meet. little bit about how Hunters Against Hunger works? Okay. We started buying coolers and setting them throughout the state of Delaware, providing hunters who do not want to use the meat themselves a place to take their deer that they harvest and then it is transported to the prison system, at which time it's cut up there and ground up and provided to needy people, homeless people, 
feed hunger people in Delaware everywhere. Bill, that sounds like a great program, both for the hunters and for the hungry in Delaware. As we head to the final station, it seems it's Chuck's match to lose. Up by a handful of shots over both Willie and myself, he'll have eight shots here to tack on to the lead. But these four report pairs aren't as easy as they look. And while we were all able to knock down a few of these closely paired clay birds, it was Mike who showed up for a last second surge, crushing seven of the eight final targets and sneaking into a first place tie with Chuck, both scoring a modest 22 points. Oh, it was a beautiful day out here today. Just a little nip of fall in the air yeah. and a great day to be out with your friends and break some clays. Yeah, so we encourage you to get out here. If you've never tried sporting clays, I'll tell you what, for the beginner, for the expert, we had them all out here on the course and just had a blast. And we'll be right back.